guys, so today we shall look at houses in Gumba Estate and Feather Estate. Therefore, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Most of you know there are many estates along Thika Super Highway and today we shall view one extra apartment which is in Gumba Estate before we head over to Feather Estate which is not along Thika Super Highway. enter the gate the parking is at the underground of the building and you'll come all the way to the stairs and climb your way up to your house so let's go to the fifth floor so before we go into the house i really like these details on the stairs you guys have a look at these tiles and I just can't wait to show you guys how the houses look like they are one bedroom houses I've never come to this area so yeah let's explore once you enter the first thing you notice is the roof and the two windows in the living room the living room is not that spacious actually have a look at it you have there the kitchen space, which is a nice a small kitchen, and the living room is at this other side. So this is how the kitchen space looks like. This will be your living room area. You can have there your TV, you can have it where else. Mostly there. I really like every detail that they have put into it. Uh, even though it's a small house, it's such a nice small house for someone who is single. I'm meaning people who don't have family because, yeah, it's such a nice house. So compatible, everything. It's just so beautiful. Look at this door. You can see someone who's outside, but if someone is outside, he or she can see inside. Apart from the tinted window, if you like this type of tiles above the sink, give this video a thumbs up and on your right side you have the washroom area. It also has these nice tiles. left side from the washroom you have the bedroom so this is the size of the room it's not a big room and in here you have a closet a mirror and just you know a well-painted house <laughs> The cost of renting this unit is 15,000 Kenya shillings, that's around $150 and you'll also have to pay a water deposit of 2,500 Kenya shillings, that's $25 and the water here is meter water, you have tokens and you'll also pay garbage fee which is 200 Kenya shillings, that's $2 and there's Wi-Fi. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that the finishing 
finishing here is good even the wall it's not the yellow yellow color the colors of the wall is whitish which is nice you know have a look at it and this one is not yellow colored it's light greenish i don't know how to describe it but it's just beautiful and yeah basically it i like this color so like they've blended in this white and this greenish color and it really matches well with the feel of the house yeah the ceiling has that detail this is the tiles that i was showing you guys i really like these tiles Also guys, for those who want to join my writing course, I am offering training where you can sign up. I have a couple of students and if you want to join them, you can also sign up. And yeah, for the course, it's only 2,000 Kenya shillings. And I can guide you in writing and you can start making your own money through writing, alright? So if you want me to guide you, just you know contact me through my email in the description box and you start making your own money the last apartment of the vlog is one located in feather estate so yeah let's go Feather Estate can be accessed from CBD or from Eastern Bypass, which is just right there, straight ahead. This is Fountain Apartment in Feather Estate, just next to Nyayo Estate as you guys can see, and we shall be viewing the two bedroom master and suite unit. This is a two bedroom unit and you shall see what 18,000 Kenya shillings can get you in this area. So after you enter the door, this is what you see on your right, you have there your socket and there is a wall sconce right there. The living room is a medium sized one, you also have another double socket right there together with a wall frame and this is basically the size of the room. Straight from the living room is a sink with a mirror above it and on the right hand side we have the kitchen and the washroom. So let's start with this side. The bathroom also serves as a washroom area, therefore you have the toilet and the shower, the same space. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section. This other side has the bedrooms, but before we go there, let's have a look at the kitchen. The kitchen is well finished, a good size, but I think that the cabinets should have been more than this. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> Balcony has a place where you can hang your clothes and it overlooks the surrounding Nyayo estate. Have a look at it from this angle. <laughs> this will be your views if you happen to move into this house. So this balcony is one straight long balcony. Let me show you. So this is how it is. It reaches there, a long one, a narrow one, that's it. The 
final rooms are these two bedrooms. One is a master end suite. The other one is this one right here. So it's a medium sized room. Actually, it's uh, just a nice size. You know, it's mm -hmm. closer to what you've seen in the living room. And you have here a double socket. You have a closet. Not just a closet, but a big closet. Not a big, but a big closet. <laughs> compared to the first bedroom the master and suite has a smaller closet so which one would you choose this room or the first bedroom comment down below and hit the subscribe button Additionally, the master and suite appears to be a bit smaller and much brighter as compared to the first one. So give this video a thumbs up if you agree to that. Apart from the rent, which is 18,000 Kenya shillings, that's $180. The water here is meter water and electricity you use tokens. Garbage you'll be paying 200 Kenya shillings per month. That's around $2. To anyone interested, I shall leave the contact details in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't leave yet. Subscribe just down below so that I can see you in my next vlog. Bye.